In our previous video titled Private Equity in Japan, we talked about Carlyle Japan's investment in Rigaku. If you remember from that video, we talked about Japan's aging demographics and the trend towards private equity firms buying companies looking for business succession. Well, in our April 2023 video newsletter, which you should subscribe to in the link in the description below if you don't already receive it, we took a deep dive into Breitling, the famous watch company that was run by the Breitling family, then the Schneider family, before the company was looking for business succession. To learn more about the history of Breitling, as well as the deals with CVC and Partners Group, stay tuned for our Ming Sites video newsletter. In this edition of Ming Sites, we will walk you through the Breitling deal, a recent deal where Partners Group increased its stake in Breitling. We'll go through the history of Breitling, followed by the details of the deal, and then we will analyze the deal. So let's get started with the history of Breitling. Back in 1884, Leon Breitling opened his first workshop in Switzerland to develop watches. Over the next 95 years, the Breitling family produced many iconic watches, first led by Leon, then his son Gaston, then Gaston's son, Willie. In 1979, Willie Breitling sold the family business to the Schneider family, more specifically Ernst Schneider, who led the business for 15 years before passing it down to his son, Theodore. The Schneider family carried on the tradition of innovation that was established by the Breitling family. In 2017, Theodore sold the business to the private equity firm, CVC at a valuation of approximately $925 million. It was reported that CVC bought 80% of the business right away from Schneider and the remaining 20% of the business one year later. When CVC bought the business, industry veteran George Kern became Breitling's CEO and he started to reposition the brand. In 2021, Partners Group made its first investment in Breitling a minority stake that reportedly valued the company at approximately $3.3 billion. And it made another investment, which is the deal we are focusing on in this video. So let's move on to the details of the deal. In December, 2022, Partners Group further invested in Breitling, boosting its stake to become the majority shareholder of Breitling. With this investment, it was reported that Breitling was now worth approximately $4.5 billion. So let's analyze the deal. How did CVC Partners Group and CEO George Kern turn Breitling, a 133-year-old company, from a $925 million company into a $4.5 billion company in just over five years? Well, we all know the iconic Breitling watch. The reason why they are well known is because of the passionate, innovative family members that continually focused on quality over the years. The family's commitment to excellence is one of the reasons why Swiss watches in general have the global reputation that they have today. When George Kern became CEO, he had an iconic brand to work with, but he had a new modern world to build that brand in. So what did George do? Well, he repositioned the brand by launching many new initiatives, including opening stylish boutiques around the world, hiring brand ambassadors such as Brad Pitt, Charlize Theron, and Adam Driver, and by relaunching modernized versions of old collections, such as its Premier Collection. And now with the latest influx of capital, I wouldn't be surprised if Breitling makes acquisitions and uses the same strategy to unlock value in those acquisitions that it used to unlock value in Breitling. Investors, if you're looking to invest directly in a private company, always take extra time to see if there's an opportunity to unlock value in the company by repositioning the company's brand. Just like George Kern, CVC, 
and Partners Group did with Breitling.